Today's Thursday, December 6, 2018, and this is Citrus TV Now. I'm David Edelstein. This is what you need to know. A second memorial service for former President George H.W. Bush was held today. Family, friends, and many others filled the Bush family's church in Houston to say goodbye to the 41st president of former Secretary of State James Baker, highly praised the former president in his eulogy. He became one of our nation's finest presidents and beyond any doubt, our nation's very best one-term president. The former president will be laid to rest next to his wife and daughter at the Bush Residential Library and Museum in Texas. A Southwest plane at the Hollywood Burbank Airport in California skid off the runway earlier today. The engineered material arresting system, which is designed to stop the plane if it leaves the runway, brought that plane to a halt. No one on board the plane was injured and authorities have not yet determined the cause of the incident. A nationwide recall has been issued on infant's ibuprofen. The recall applies to the store brand drug sold at Walmart, CVS, and Family Dollar. A New Jersey pharmaceutical company says the infant's ibuprofen could contain higher contents of the drug than stated on the label. ABC says no illnesses have been reported, but consumers who have taken ibuprofen have been advised to contact their doctor. And the Syracuse Athletic Department announced today it will start a dialogue with SU students called Q's Council. The dialogue will include topics such as student experience, ticket sales, and other subjects related to athletic events. Applications for the council will be accepted through February 1st. Coming up on Citrus TV News Live at 6, Citrus TV reporter Anna Azalian tells us what to do before leaving campus to keep our dorm room safe over winter break. That's all the time we have for you today on Citrus TV Now. Follow Citrus TV News on Twitter and like us on Facebook. I'm David Edelstein. Have a great night, Syracuse.